I was getting a few last minute things done before we got started. All right, we have kind of a small group today, so we can go ahead and get started. We can catch people up later when they get here. Um, thanks for coming this month. It's good to see you all again. Um, we'll start with the updates. There was quite a bit of quite a bit of work done this last month. Um, as I've been saying for the last couple of months, we're doing some um, some system upgrades, so that's continuing. We're progressing there. Uh, it's kind of kind of slow going, but uh, it is it is still moving along. Um, we implemented the marketplace redelivery, and I kind of touched on that last month. And maybe when we're done, kind of going over the updates, we can talk about how that's going. If anybody has uh, has opinions about that. Also in marketplace, we added the ability to clear your cart. So if you load your cart up with stuff and then want to dump it all out, you can do that all with one little click. We also did some error message cleanup on uh, a few of the, the error messages in Marketplace. Um, we did some work on join, just some minor things. We did some minor tweaks to email validation on join so that it's a little bit more uh, more accurate and uh, checks that the emails that uh, email addresses that are being added on the join page um, are actually work, working. Uh, emails and not just something made up. Um, we also kind of uh, tweaked our messaging for names that were unavailable on join, so th those error messages are a little bit better now. Um, if you didn't see it, we released a new Linden Home style with Fantasy Linden Homes were released um, last month and if you have a Fantasy Linden home and you were on it last night, depending on where you are, either last night or this morning, um, the seasons changed. So there was a nice little little season change. The the Fantasy regions will change with the seasons. It's kind of a little a little benefit of those. Um, they change throughout the year into different seasons. Uh, let's see. We had a bug introduced where land that was set for sale or rental had to have the show and search box checked, which meant you got charged for that. Um, we reverted that, so you no longer need to have the show and search box checked when you want to set a parcel for sale. We had a problem with the auction page where it was displaying the incorrect high bidder, and that has now been resolved. Um, we fixed some broken links. Uh, when, you, when you buy a private region, uh, we send out an email welcoming you and giving you some resources. There were some broken links in there, so we fixed those. Um, as we've said before, we're kind of rolling out a new logo onto the pages, and so uh, we had a couple of those updated as well, so we've got the new logo on some additional pages. Um, and then we also added some translations uh, to the auctions page, so those are in several languages now instead of just English. Um, and that's that's pretty much the bulk of what we did for this last month. Um, did y'all get to get outside yesterday during our downtime? Our little networking issue? That was kind of a big deal yesterday. <laughs> outside, the not the inside the house, the, the away from the computer in the air <laughs> and and possibly sunlight maybe not <laughs> it doesn't feel like there is I always have to have a computer with me in some form cell phone Apple watch whatever <laughs> the graphics aren't that great. 
<laughs> the bugs are a little too realistic sometimes. What are you going to ask, Inara? <laughs> I don't have an update yet. <laughs> I, don't, I don't have a, a good update yet. We're, we are working on, uh, we're talking about mobile. Oh, that? Wait. We're talking about mobile, right? <laughs> um, okay, cool. Yeah, we, we have a version that we were looking to roll out um, to the test group. Um, found a few bugs in it, so we're working those out. Um, so we'll see how it goes with this next run through. But yeah, no, no major update on it just yet. Has anybody tried the redelivery, marketplace redelivery? The bulk redelivery? Or know anybody that has and has heard any feedback? Lucy, was it with like a, like a demo? I've heard that, yeah. Yeah, we've had some, some requests come in to, yeah, was that yours? Yeah, I was gonna say, I remember seeing a Jira like that. So we're, we'll be, we'll be fine tuning that a little bit. Yep, with the options. Um, what was your question about opening a marketplace store? No silly questions. I think I know the answer to that question. You want to take a read? And for those sure. who don't know, here's Reed Linden. <laughs> Hello. Um, I believe it's to protect us from bots, actually, creating stores. Uh, it helps us ensure that there's an actual person behind the, the account. It's been a requirement for six or seven years at least. Yeah. Lucy, all of my memories are from another time. Mm. <laughs> um, I will go ahead and take this opportunity to let you all in on something. Um, Reed is here today because he is going to be leading the web user group meetings uh, after today. So starting next month in October, Reed will be with you. He will be your tour guide through these meetings. Um, I am transitioning into a position uh, back with the support team, uh, managing the support operations team. So um, this will be my last time with you all. I will only say now, I'm sorry. <laughs> Reed's coming back. I know you all missed him. And those of you that didn't, I don't want to hear about it. You can never escape. <laughs> Can never leave. Yes, this is very good for Kira. Big congratulations uh, to to Kira. Thank you. Absolutely Thanks. Warrant. We wish her well, and we are sorry that you are now stuck with me again. <laughs> it was better while she was here. Oh, I don't those know about that. Don't remember when it was mine. Like, man, strap in. 
<laughs> it's going to be a wild ride. Yep. Go back to the bad old times. No, Lucy, I meant for you. Not for me. This is great. This is an hour a day where I don't have to do any real work. I'm just hanging out with you guys. Uh, why wait until later, Lucy? We can test it out. All right, well, she's gone. Ask me anything you want. Gotta go quick. I see her back online. Ah, she's here. Y'all missed your chance. Yep. Call's coming from inside the house now. So if I'm pronouncing this correctly, is an, um, I, I think the issue with this, uh, honestly, from my point of view, is that it's hard for us to both protect you from bad reviews, right? Like to give you the option to say, okay, this, this item is not up for review, but also protect everyone else from abuse of that option, right? So what's to stop you to just say, okay, no items are up for review? Um, 
you know, there, there are very legitimate reasons for, um, you know, people to leave bad reviews, maybe not on your products, I'm sure all of yours are wonderful, but maybe on somebody else's who then takes the opportunity to say, oh, I can just disable reviews on this, great. Um, and then that can become predatory. Sorry about that, everybody. <laughs> um, yeah, if there's a request for better flags on those reviews, that would be a uh, feature request. <clears throat> they don't take a risk when they're trying on a free demo, but the free demo is like, you know, it's a representation of the product. So I, I'm not seeing a reason why we would want to disallow reviews of a sample product and only allow it on the full ones. Yeah, if there's if there's a need for better flagging on reviews that are inaccurate, that's definitely going to be a feature request. If there's if there's other other reasons we need them, then yeah, that would be a feature request. Are we talking about your own items or are these on someone else's items? I mean, it's, it's similar to, you know, what you would see on Amazon, right? You, you kind of take those reviews with a little, with a little bit of uh, hesitancy because, you know, you're not sure where those reviews are coming from or if they are indeed accurate. So it, it's a good guideline. Um, and, you know, a lot of it's opinion-based, too. Somebody may have different tastes than you do. If there may not be anything inherently wrong with the product, it just may be, yeah, five stars are, yep. But it should be, you know, kind of a guideline, right? If you're seeing a lot of good reviews, then it's probably a good product. Mm-hmm, it, it is. You kind of use that as a guideline when you're looking for something specific. Mm-hmm. But that goes for any ranking service, right? I mean, it's not, it's not a foolproof system. And we all kind of understand that and accept it. Um, you know, there's, there's no way to, you know, make sure that everything is, is accurate and isn't uh, farmed, isn't a bot, isn't, you know, a bot, um, as in a purchased uh, review. They paid somebody to do the review for them. Um, but it's, you know, you kind of use that as a guideline. Uh, 
Uh, what do you mean review for lying? So an inaccurate review is in a misrepresentation of the product or how the product works, how it looks. I mean, like I said, if we if we do indeed need more flags, if there are specific flags that you would like to see in there, um, definitely open a JIRA as a feature request. Um, list the different types of flags you would like to see along with, you know, why you would like to see those, what, what the purpose is for those, how you see those being applied to different circumstances. And then we can review that. Yeah, we just we just need one Jira. I mean, if you want to pass the Jira number around to people you know and, and have other people comment on it, absolutely. Yeah, I've heard that before, too. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that kind of thing just kind of seals it for you, right? It's like, okay, well, I didn't like your product, so it's probably for the best. <laughs> Yeah, off-topic flag would be good. Feasibility questions. All right, let me, that's a lot of reading. Hang on a second. <laughs> Put my glasses back on. Uh, no, actually, I, Reed and I have been the only ones that have been talking. I was just reading and thinking.
but feel free to talk to us. It gets lonely <laughs> just listening to myself talk. <laughs> I would love to hear everybody else speaking. So the timed reply is that, uh, ex explain that a little bit. I'm not quite getting it, I don't think. You would, you as the merchant would flag it as a timed reply, so you reply to them and they have so much time to come back and respond. Okay. So what is to stop in that scenario? Like, okay, I'm the merchant. Somebody gave me a one-star review. I reply back to that review. This is dumb. Don't leave me this review. And then with the hope that after seven days, they will not reply. And then that review goes away. Yeah. Um, but then they do. And they say, it's not dumb. Make it stay. And then I say, it is dumb. And this goes on forever until eventually I'm the last one to speak and that review drops. As long as they reply once, it just goes, It there's no longer a timed... Yeah, I'm... I, I mean, so I still feel like it is a it is a tool by which potentially shady merchants can use to um, game their their reviews. Uh, if they you know add a reply, even if it's not a, a reply in good faith, you know, a reply that is literally just like, "I don't like this review." And then if the reviewer, does not go out of their way to, um, you know, reply to it and say, well, it's a good review, so you, I don't care if you like it or whatever, right? Um, then that review goes away, right? Even though it might have been a legitimately good review, a legitimately, you know. In my opinion, Lucy, it's feasible, but I want to see a reason why we would want that over the fairly easy re ways that it could be abused. Yeah, that flag makes sense to me.
<laughs> Crazy person telling lies. <laughs> um, as far as the, the comments being kind of hidden where you have to click on them, that's pretty standard for most most websites. They keep that, uh, you know, hidden out of view, not, not to hide it, but to kind of save space on the page, right, so that you're looking at, at more of the product as opposed to looking at the reviews. And then if you're interested in the reviews, you click on it and you read those reviews. Person who replies with you as a seller. Um, I kind of like the idea of of having the, the seller's reply flagged in some manner, whether it's a different color or with something designating it. Yeah, Lucy, I was just about to say. I mean, if you if you have an, an idea to make improvements there, and it, you know you've thought about it, and you you've got a good idea on uh, you know how it can be used, why it should be used, that's definitely what you want to put into a Jira a feature request Jira and send to us so that we can take a look at it and um, you know review it and see if that's something that we can integrate. More search options. Do you mean the options over on the left hand side? The the categories? Because usually when I'm searching, I just put something into the keyword field and search for that. Oh, do you mean in world, like on your region? Trying to search for a specific option, object on your region? Yeah, we have lots of different lots of different searches. <laughs> which yeah. which search? You need to be more specific. Which <laughs> which search? With marketplace in world, in the region. Classifieds. Classifieds. We got search mm -hmm. everywhere. Map searches. Yes. Well, no, I'd like to be able to help answer your question. So if you can clarify for me which, which search. Lucy, do you mean like a uh, a real world store brand?
Um, so I'm not sure why your results. I mean, when when it when you're searching, it, it goes by relevance, and I'm not sure exactly sure of the order it searches in. I mean, that's getting kind of technical. I'd need to go to the engineers and, and find out, but search isn't typically something that we, you know, give out at why things are happening, but if that's something that's happening, it's certainly something we can look into. And like I think I mentioned last month is that we are, you know, we're going to be, we've been looking at search a lot lately and taking a lot of information from the community on on search. Uh, Google search operators complete list. <laughs> Actually, I was on that page not too long ago um, when we were looking at, uh, you know, having having kind of a brainstorming session on search and how it's working. So it is it is something that we are looking into. Is Lucy, is that your way of asking if variants are coming out soon? <laughs> Variations have any search specific benefits or options? <laughs> I was waiting for you to sneak it in there somewhere. Um, Um, where are we? We are not there yet. It is still, it's, it's still on the horizon, but we're not quite there yet. No, not yet. Not yet begun. The, the horizon could be very short or it could be very long. <laughs> That's about as much as I can commit to. Aglaya, um, oh, go ahead, Kira, if you were going to answer that one. Uh, no, you can go ahead. It, um, I was going to say probably not. Uh, having two stores on the same account, uh, it's just not the way the, the infrastructure is set up. It would require a pretty big overhaul. Plus, it's pretty easy to work around. Um, you know, just get an alt and put the store under that alt. Um, I know it's not, not perfect, but... Um, it works pretty well for everybody else. Yeah, like having like like one line of business and under one category, another line of business under another. That sounds like maybe a feature request.
Lucy Tilia handles all of our um, private uh, information, so that includes all of your authorization information, passwords, and such. Helps keep your info secure. <laughs> yep, no problem. It's a good question. It's one I happen to know a lot about. Oof, I have no idea. Does it work in Chrome? Uh, I think it works in Chrome because that's what I usually use. I was going to say, if it's <laughs> Firefox specific, I, I don't think we can troubleshoot that. It's yeah. a good question for Firefox. Of course, now I have to go play with it. I think that's more likely to be your extensions. I'd have to double check. I haven't looked at Firefox in a little while, but I would not expect that to be the behavior. Yeah, I don't. I just did it and didn't have to re-log in. Must have priorities ranking on their wish list items with options of sorting by priority ranking. Yeah, I like it. Especially if you have an enormous wish list. I'm not saying I have an enormous wish list, but I may have a problem with my wish list. I like the idea of a rankable wish list. Yeah. Add description cost, maturity level, and so on to the properties of the objects in order to be uploaded directly to the marketplace. <laughs> have like a, um, a recommendations based on your past shopping habits or what you've received. Yeah, I'd, I'd love to live in that future. Um, yeah. We don't, we don't have <laughs> there. nearly the infrastructure <laughs> available to us uh, to create that kind of algorithm. Um, yeah. Maybe. <laughs> but a recommendation engine, while it, a, a wonderful idea, is many, 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 many years off uh, for us. Mm -hmm.
Lucy, can you give me context for that? Is that the community boards, the forums? Oh. Yeah. I don't have a good answer for you there. Yeah. Don't run the forums. Yeah, the forums are run by somebody else. I think it's in Vision. Yes. Yeah. So we have no control over over that, unfortunately. Mm-mm. Uh, yeah, as I said, it's a pretty low priority. I, I think that's feasible. Um, it's a pretty small return on investment there, saving the one click. But, yeah, it's not the worst idea I've heard. Uh, we've talked about that before, Lucy. Uh, you can't fool me. <laughs> yeah, see? Mm -hmm. You think. I know. Um, I mean, so I'll tell you what I told you last time. I I'd like to do this. Uh, we haven't gotten to it. I think it's a good idea. File it. Yeah, I like that one, too. I'll reserve the right to throw things at you if you bring it up again. Things. Could be fish. Could be other things. I could start with fish if you like. out of questions and we have five minutes left. I didn't bring any questions for you all today. Except for that one about bulk redelivery. I have a question. Let's see if I remember it. Oh, what well, you're it? thinking I can answer Lucy. No. <laughs> <laughs> what was the what was the thing that came up in triage this morning? Uh, I wasn't at triage this morning. Oh, I see. See, now you're getting the, uh, yeah, the see, background I had to, stuff. I had to extract. She's already handed off the, the duties. <laughs> uh, it, it we was. haven't we haven't turned it down, Lucy. It's a, it's it's still out there as uh, something we want to work on. It just hasn't uh, hasn't gone anywhere right now, in light of other more pressing projects. Little selling, it's a hundred and five. Is that hundred and five hours? Uh, 
Uh, no movement on Premium Plus right now either. So, Lucy, you're going to hate this, like really hate it, <laughs> but I'm going to tell you, stay tuned. <laughs> but I'm so sorry, but literally stay tuned. <laughs> But don't worry, it's coming. I promise. <laughs> uh, actually, widget should be working with HTTPS. Ooh, my headset's dying on me. Is this a recent one? Because we should have just fixed that. So, yeah, your web wid widgets should be HTTP HTTPS ready as of August 9th. Did I, not, did I not bring that one up today? It was on my list. Did I miss one? I must have skipped over. It was on my list. Um, yeah, test it. Let me know. Hopefully we're good to go. Um, it's the widgets here. Uh oh, dogs piping up. Um, okay, we have about two minutes left. Any last pressing questions before we wrap up for this month? Which URI handling specifically? I think that's viewer. Uh, read really quick. What was your question for the group? Uh, I, we had a feature request come in, and I thought it was interesting enough to kind of gauge interest. Um, so it's that one. Uh, I will be running this next month. If you all want to, like, think about that a little bit and let me know what we think about it. Um, I think it's interesting. Uh, I kind of like the idea. I can see how it might be abused a bit. Um, but if it's something that a lot of people are interested in being able to uh, have for their marketplace stores, it might be worth thinking about a little bit harder. So, 
I Good use work. that section a lot on Amazon. Yeah, right? I like to see what questions are people asking. Yeah. If I can't think yeah, of yeah, the yeah. questions. I like it. Yeah. So, everybody give it a look. Let me know, let me know next month. Lucy, see, I'm not envisioning too too closely. Um, it, I just started thinking about it today. Which is a long way of saying I'm open to suggestion. Okay. Well, thanks for coming, everybody. Good seeing you all this month. Um, thanks for putting up with me for the last several months. <laughs> Yay, Pantera. Thank you for checking. Good to know. Um, and, yeah, I'll turn everything over to Reed now for next month. Bring your helmets and seatbelts. Whee. Strap in. <laughs> Your hats Your too. Your hats. Oh yep. yeah. This meeting's gonna go a lot better if we're all fully alcoholed. <laughs> all right. Thanks everybody. We'll see you later. <laughs>